This is the daily news on Rema TV from New Egypt. For our headlines, Adomi Onunuga, popularly known as Ijaya, emerges as the Deputy Chief Whip of the 10th House of Representatives. Police arrest two for hacking into over 1,000 bank accounts in Lagos. And Luis Enrique, Harris Saint Germain, close to a green deal for Spaniards to become their new head coach. Black Harvest trailer takes you into the dark world of organ harvesting. Let's take a short break and we'll be right back. Adeumi Ononuga, also known as Ijaya, has emerged as the Deputy Chief Whip of the 10th House of Representatives. This was announced by the Speaker, Tajuji Nabaz, as the House resumed plenary after the Salah holiday. Ononuga is the only female in the House leadership. She is expected to work closely with the Chief Whip, Belu Kumo, and the Deputy Majority Leader, Halima Belay, to ensure the smooth running of the House. The Speaker also announced other principal officers, including Julius Imovere as the Majority Leader and Ozodino B. George of the Labour Party as the Deputy Minority Leader. King Sichinda of the People's Democratic Party was named the Minority Leader, while Ali Issa, also of the PDP, was appointed as the Minority Whip. Ali Madaki of the New Nigeria People's Party was named the Deputy Minority Whip. The appointments of the principal officers are expected to help in the running of the House, pending the Standing Committee's Two men who specialize in hacking into bank customers' accounts have been arrested by the Zone 2 command of the Nigerian Police Force, which consists of Lagos and Ubu State. Hawaii Idris Adamu, the command spokesperson, confirmed the arrest of the two suspects in a statement earlier today in Lagos. According to her, the force worked on the petition from the United Bank for Africa in May. She disclosed that the suspects were traced and arrested at Ijebodi, Ubu State. She said, they hack into customers' accounts and move their money. Based on the petition, the AIG raised a team of detectives from the Zonal Monitoring Unit, which swung into action with the aid of modern technology. The two suspects were tracked down at their hideouts in Jebode Ubun State. Idris Adamu added that further investigation into the incident revealed that members of the syndicates were from different parts of the country. End of quote. Also, she said efforts were being intensified to arrest all those connected with the crime. On sports, Paris Saint Germain are close to agreeing a deal for Luis Enrique to become their new head coach. The French champions are set to replace current boss Christophe Galtier with the Spaniard, who was on the shortlist for the Chelsea and Tottenham jobs earlier this summer. Luis Enrique has been out of work since leaving Spain in December after they were knocked out of the World Cup by Morocco at the round of 16 stage in Qatar. The 53 year old's last club job was with Barcelona, where he won the treble in 2015. The former Roma and Celta Vega boss now looks set to succeed Galtier despite the 56-year-old leading PSG to the League One title last season. PSG's form, however, slumped after the World Cup with 10 defeats in 28 games. On entertainment, James Amuta's next project, Black Harvest, takes on the underground world of illegal organ harvesting and trafficking. The Nigerian director's upcoming film follows a group of guns for hire, guarding hostages held in a kidnap for ransom situation. They soon discover that their employer's business isn't exactly what was advertised, as they find themselves in the same predicament as their victims. Describing the new project, he says, It's nothing like I've ever done before, and I'm honored to have had such a stellar team come together to make this world come to life. We had a running joke on the set, where Ade Oshim, my first assistant director, would say to me, James, we're not making this film. This film is making itself. End of quote. That for me was a new territory where you just let the story possess your soul, staring you in directions that leave you wondering how anyone could have thought of something this dark. 
end of quote. The movie shines a necessary spotlight on the illegal kidney harvesting industry, which is booming in Lagos and other parts of the country. That's it on the news updates. Do follow us for more on our social media platforms on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter and YouTube at Official Remo TV. You can also visit our website at www.remotv.com.ng. I'm Neo Mugin. Bye for now.